Hello, my friends, it's Danny, and today we're gonna chat about motivation. How do you get motivated? How do you stay motivated when you're trying to lose weight? It's a great question, and it's one I'm excited to dive into. So here's the thing, we have to remember that motivation, it's a feeling, right? And no feeling just magically happens to us. Feelings don't just drop out of the sky. All of the feelings that we experience are generated by what we think. Our thoughts create our feelings. So if you are trying to generate the feeling of motivation, you first have to start by investigating what are you thinking. So when you want to lose weight, when you're trying to do something different, right, whenever we need to take on any type of change, we have to create some type of plan for ourselves, some type of intention, somewhere to direct our attention in a way that is different from what we've been doing in the past. And for a lot of people, creating a plan can be really motivating at the beginning. And the reason that plan is motivating is because we're believing in it and we're excited about it and we believe it's going to help us get our results so we feel motivated. And most people can generate motivation for a couple of days, but what starts to happen is is that after two, three, four days, when we're not seeing the results that we want to see, side note, weight loss doesn't work that way. Weight loss takes time, it's not fast, and it's not linear, right? But a lot of times when we set a weight loss goal and we don't start to see changes right away, we start to lose motivation. And the reason that we're losing motivation is because we're no longer excited about and or believing in the plan that we've set up for ourselves. Sometimes it's just enough when that plan starts to get really hard that we're like, oh, forget this, right? This doesn't work anyway. And that absolutely creates the opposite effect of motivation. So point one, you really have to remember that motivation is a feeling and the way we are thinking is either going to motivate us or unmotivate us. Now, to take it one step further, something that I personally have found to be very true around motivation and weight loss is nothing really creates motivation and momentum like results, right? Once you really start to see the results of the work that you've put in, you start to get motivated. And the reason you start to get really motivated is because you're believing really hard in what you're doing, right? Because you're like, this is working. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm going to keep doing this. Maybe I'll tweak it like this. Maybe I'll tweak it like that, right? Those thoughts, that excitement and that belief in yourself builds more motivation. And then as that motivation is rooted with more energy and excitement, more momentum builds. So I think what we have to remember for ourselves is that at the beginning, it's very normal for anything new, anything different that we're doing to feel uncomfortable, to feel challenging, because you have to remember your brain, our brains love easy and efficient. They don't want to use a lot of energy. They love doing what they did yesterday. And so whenever we're creating a new habit, it requires more energy and more attention, more awareness, more consciousness on our part. And that is uncomfortable, it's harder. It's harder than not doing it for sure, right? Not only that, when you come into a situation where you want something that you normally would do and now you're trying to do something different, that also is uncomfortable, right? Anytime you're trying to change a habit, it can feel uncomfortable at the beginning. And so I think this is why it's important that if you really wanna build motivation, to create some type of game plan for yourself, some type of intention, and then making a commitment to work towards that goal, that game plan, that intention, knowing that it will feel bumpy at the beginning. I almost want to invite you not to expect motivation at the beginning. Don't require motivation as a means to get you into action. Be willing to take action when you're not motivated. Because honestly, if we all sit around waiting to be motivated, it's very unlikely that we're going to make a lot of progress because again, it's hard to maintain that motivation when we're doing something new and different with just the power of our mind and real motivation starts to generate from results. Important to note that, again, the motivation is not actually coming from the result, it's coming from what we think about the result. So if you can generate that belief system without the result, I mean, that's the real magic. But either way, you can get there either road, the way you're thinking or by just creating a plan, committing, and then getting motivated by your results. Those are your two pathways to creating more motivation for yourself.
So I hope that was a little bit insightful. I'm so curious to know what your personal thoughts, questions, and or experiences are with motivation and with your weight loss um, goals and or successes. I would love if you would come down to the comments below and share. And for those of you who are in the midst of working on your own personal weight loss journeys, I'm super excited because in somewhere in mid-September, I'm gonna be launching my digital weight loss class the Don't Diet. It is all of the tools and tricks that I have gathered and practiced over the years to help me sustain my own weight loss. And I cannot wait to share them with you or with anybody who is looking for this material. So if that's something that you are interested in, I've got a link down in the description box below. If you submit your email, you will be the first to know when that class is ready and when it launches. It's going to be somewhere mid-September. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more food for thought. Cheers.